welcome to business life with kimmy well hey guys today we are talking all about market research my business bosses where you at where you at business bosses we talking about market research okay what does that mean what does that even mean what's market research market research is knowing the market you have to know who your target client is who's your customer this is something you must know. A lot of times, and I know even for myself, it's like, you know what? I think I want to start, to do, start doing this type of business. I'm going to be a mobile detailer, car detailer. Well, everybody in New York usually has, um, they take public transportation. So just because I want to start a mobile detailing company, does that make sense for me to start one in New York? Right in the heart of New York where everybody takes the trains and public transportation? Probably not. Now, there are a few people that have cars, right? But that's not going to feed my family. So I need to know what the market says. So that's what I mean by market research. And then once you know what the market says, you got to be clear with yourself. Just because I wanted to start a mobile detailing company, again, I might have to pivot and say, you know what? Everybody don't have cars over here. So that's not going to be that's not going to be a good business for me. So back to the whole thing about market research, why it's important, what it is, okay? So again, it's important because you need to know if you're going to be able to sustain your business. You need to know, is this even something that people need? That's the first thing with market research. Then the second thing you're going to find out is about your actual client. What are their behaviors? What are their preferences? What do they like? And how do you find all of this out? Right now, the easiest thing is to Google. With market research, you can also just do a demographic search. So for example, if you're in the city of Atlanta, you can um, put in city of Atlanta demographics and it will tell you the average age of the person living in Atlanta, maybe 18 to 25 or 50 to 75 or whatever the age range is. It will also tell you the median income for them. How much do they make? Do they make a lot of money? Do they make a little money? You can look at a lot of stuff by the demographics of the market you can also tell what percentage are male what percentage are female if they're mostly black people mostly white people asian people whatever it's a lot of information you can get right from the internet so you have to do your market research once you find all of this out now that'll help you with several things you'll know okay so it's a lot of older people they probably do need my service whatever your service is this channel is dedicated to all business types so whatever your particular industry or service is You'll think about it. Okay, so this people, this group of people over here, they probably do need ABC. So you can list and see where your service or your business fits into the plan of the whole totality of the market. Okay, so you'll be able to say, oh, okay, so they do need lawn service over here, or they don't need lawn service, or um, they do need barbers, or whatever you're doing. Okay, food delivery service, whatever it is that you're doing. These tips and tricks that I give you will help you with your business, okay? So once you know all of this, who they are, now you need to think about also their behaviors, okay? And you can kind of determine that by people. Do they get in early in the day? Do they come in late at night? All of that's important. Why? Because if you're starting a business that's based around um, whether your clients prefer services in the afternoon or the evening and you're not available to even to provide that service, that's something else you need to know, right? So for example, if most people prefer to get their lawn cut on the weekend and you're only available Monday through Friday, then your business is not going to work, right? If you find that you have a clientele and they want food delivery service, but they need it in the evenings and you have a catering business and you're not available in the evenings and you're just starting out, then that's not going to work. So that's why you see how all of this goes. This is also important when we talk about market research and most businesses do not do market research. The business owner will say, hey, I'm going to start this business and they just go out there and start it and they don't succeed and you wonder what happened and all your money is gone. So not over here though, not over here with Business Life with Kimmy. Our business bosses are going to know the market. They're going to know their needs. They're going to know their preferences. You also need to know your competitor. You need to know what they're doing. This is a whole nother video. I'm just going to touch on this just a little bit. But you need to know what your competitor is doing. You need to know what your competitor is doing. And how do you even find out who your competitor is, what they are doing? Again, Google is going to be your best friend. So if you're doing um, barbershop, let's say you have a barbershop. I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to put in barbershops near me. I'm going to pull up their pages. I'm going to look at their pages. I'm going to see what their customer reviews are. I'm going to see what their clients are saying. They may say, oh, I like this barbershop, but they're super slow. 
or I like this barbershop, but they're never, um, their appointments, they're always booked up. So that lets you know that there's a need right there. Oh, they're always booked. So that means it might be a little space for me to have a few clients. You see what I mean? So you can learn a lot right from Google reviews, what people are saying. Oh, their prices are too high. Well, that may be a market for you. You might could offer the same service a little bit cheaper. Okay, so market research is so important, knowing your competitors. So not only are you market researching your clients, but you're also researching your competitors to find out what's going on in the industry. And that will even let you know if there is a need, like I already mentioned before. Is it always busy there? You know, are their prices too high? That'll let you know when you do get in the market, the same um, space as whatever, whoever it is, it doesn't matter if you're catering, if you're baking, um, if you're baking cakes and selling those, whatever industry you're in, now you need to, you'll know what the other person is doing. And that's going to help you in your business. Okay. Um, but you got to be strategic in anything you do. You cannot just go out there and just willy nilly and think something's going to happen. Okay. You also have to think about, so a good way to know your competitors is again, to look at their Google business page. When you think about market research also, I want you to take some time and think about trends and changes. And what do I mean by that? You may decide I'm gonna start a business and today the market looks a certain way, but things change overnight. You think about Blockbuster, okay? Blockbuster, the video company. Netflix came in and went whoosh because Blockbuster didn't stay up to date. They didn't stay up to date. They didn't know what was going on in the market. They didn't watch the market. So as you being a business boss that you are starting your business, you need to keep a pulse and know what's going on in the industry. For example, a lot of my business owners that I have now that I work with, they do not like social media. They don't. They do not like it. They don't want nothing to do with it. They don't want their business out there. You can have a business without social media, but it's going to be very slow. Everybody's on the internet. Everybody's on the internet. So if you are not being on social media, that's going to be the first thing I encourage you to do. Kind of think about, again, what direction you want to take your business. You have to advertise on Facebook. You need to be on Instagram. You need a TikTok page. That's where people are going. So you need to go where the people are. You need to go where the people are. So when I say keep a pulse and know what's going on in the market and trends, social media is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. It's not. So part of your market research may even be to look at someone else's TikTok page. Look at their um, Facebook page, a competitor in the area, or put in whatever service you're thinking about starting near me in a Google search, as I said from the very beginning of this video. Okay, so these are just a few tips. I want to leave it in a nutshell for you because we talked about so much. I always like to kind of recap what I really want you to do. I want you to take some time and I want you to analyze the market. Think about it. Think about it. What industry am I getting ready to get into? Then I want you to actually go do a Google search of the demographics of the people in the city that you will be working in. For example, demographics in Oakland, California demographics in Detroit, Michigan, wherever you're going to start this business, pull up the demographics so you can find out what the people are making, who lives in the market, okay? Who lives in that area? What is their age? What are their races? All of this is helping you to prepare for your business. Also, know your competitors. Look at their Google pages. What's going on? What are the clients saying? Are they saying that they're slow? Are they saying that they're overpriced? Are they saying it's not enough help? All of this is gonna help you to know what you can do with your business in this market, okay? Last but not least, I want you to think about where social media fits into your life right now and where it needs to be for you to progress in your business in the future. All right, business bosses, let's do this. You got it. For all things business, visit us at businesscreatorszone.com. Again, businesscreatorszone.com. Bye.